Hello and welcome to another Yay's Rama Day in Second Life. You may be wondering how I got this close up, extreme close up to my avatar. Hello, Torley Jr. <laughs> well, this and some more wonderful blissful advanced snapshot magic will be covered. So keep watching. Now, you know, first of all, the basic way to take a snapshot is click this button. It gives you all these options. It's nice to be able to choose when you want. But when you don't want to, there's a more direct way. File menu and snapshot to disk. And you see there's a shortcut control or a command on a Mac, I think it is. And le accent grave, c'est français. And you can just do it directly. See? <laughs> when I move my hands, I'm taking a snapshot. Ta snapshot taken freak. You can do this very quick succession. Now the next thing, which is very basic, but a lot of people, a lot of our residents don't know yet about how to use it to its fullest extent, so hopefully this will help you. You see what just happens when I push the Alt key and I click? That's called Alt Zooming. It focuses on area and I can, whoa, dude, go in and out like that. Whoa, that's trippy. Now what you can also do, and what's a little more obscure, but it should be brought to light because it's super useful, is holding Alt and Control modify receipt orbits now you can spin around like empty effects around and around we go or it's like that video for uh you know i ran so far away dun, 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 dun. and one more one more alt control shift ah who's bowing Ooh, let's check him out i got a scroll wheel on my mouse too this is handy because you can do that oh what a plate guy so this pans you can pan do dramatic see it's panning off to the side Okay, now when you put all these things together, it becomes very, very efficient to identify and lock in a target like a heat seeking missile. So you got your target, you want to center it. Okay, tree was in the way. Sorry, <laughs> that happens. But okay, see it's off like that, right? You want to center it. So alt, zoom. Okay, got him. And you zoom in with your mouse wheel, or you can you can also hold the mouse button. That works too. That's smoother. And then you pan around like that, and you want to change your angle. You can orbit. See? Change the angle. Oh, look at. And then what I mentioned also in a previous edition of the second opinion is when you hold control uh, eight and zero, I think that's under that's right here, yeah. Zoom in and zoom out. You see what that does is okay, let's focus in on him again. See? Oh, oh, oh my gosh! That's freaky. That's some freaky trippy stuff. Oh, Okay, back to normal with control 9, we're restored. So, as you see, you can really get in on your topics, your subjects, your photos. Hello there. Oh, she's sitting. And with cam scanning, you can make a world of difference and really adjust it quickly. Get her in the shot. I can take a picture. I'm not going to, though. Uh, let's see. What sometimes done is the camera controls under view menus just saw. I did that pretty quick, I know. Ah, fast like that. And... You press them, and you turn around and around and around. That's also nice when you want a more fine, refined control. But if you want something spontaneous, these are kludgy. You really want to learn cam scamming. Oh, um, scanning, not scamming. Often I have <laughs> my left hand is a claw on the control, alt, and shift keys. So I can just jam it. So I can acquire targets very quickly. Oh, see, like that. Just zoom in, zoom in, zoom in some more. Like that got it right in the shot and then you can take a snapshot as you desire and when you push any key of course it returns to your avatar's default view you can also go into mouse look that reminds me of another trick uh, it's coming up next the very nice thing about using control zero sometimes is you can it looks kind of like one of those sniper scopes just because of the perspective the way it zooms things in yeah you can see it looks like i'm almost behind her but that's a perspective thing it's not a cool picture I take one of those. Gotcha! <laughs> and you can zoom out again. Back to default. What I was going to show is going and making the best use of mouse look. You notice a lot of pictures of Sec Life, they have the horizon perfectly horizontal, but this is really unusual. Ooh, I think there's some lag here. Oh no. This is Overdrive Island. It's a very nice place. And you sit here. Okay. See what I got here. It's unnatural because in real life, or so to speak, the offline world, the meat space, Get my tools. I can rotate. Oh. <laughs> Put yourself at a little bit of an angle like that. And then go into mouse look. You can tap M. 
See, it's a little bit angle. Now what's cool about this, you'll see. This doesn't look that special yet. I'll show you how to set the scene up. First, you go to view. Oh, is it world? Yeah, it's world. For sun, you can change different settings. So midnight, say you want atmosphere. Oh, you know, cyberpunk, Akira, Blade Runner, that sort of thing. Next thing you want to do is set up a light source. This is very crude, nothing special, but features, you see light and ticky tick, ticky tick. I like that for the broadest coverage and you just, maybe a color like green. I'm awfully fond of green. Yeah, you see the green or pink, pink. You're going to see, watch it go pink. Oh, pink. See how it changed? Just settle lighting like that. And then you go back to the mouse look and then you can, what you can do, control eight, combine that. It's like an angle. It's very dramatic, you see? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, isn't that awesome? Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of photographs are not done this way because most of the time avatars are level and not taking photographs in mouse look mode. So if you really want to get a neat perspective thing, consider sitting, right? It's pretty easy. Just right click and sit on a box and just put an angle. It's pretty cool. The other cool thing is when you're sitting, you can use the arrow keys and they'll see it spins you around like that. I guess you could use this in Machinima as well if you want to record smooth motion. Up and down, arrows. Yeah. Stand up. Niftarama. Oh, yeah, it's bright out. Ooh, maybe not. I want to change that. You know, but there's only so many choices in there. What if you want more? Well, we have this client menu, and how to get that, you either go usually Control Alt D on a PC, like that. See? It moves me a little bit too. Or on the Mac. There's keys for that too. There's this shift. I think control command D. Sometimes in a PC you need to push the shift to if another another program's using them. But let's get it on. Okay, move on. Now what you want to do is world mouse move sun. Now what the heck does that do? It's not intuitive off off the bat. Ah, the the mouse isn't moving the sun, but it's more like mouse look moves sun. So what you want to do, okay, you can view mouse look like that, or press M. Watch this. Hello, hello, Mr. Sunshine. I want my two scoops of freaking raisin bran. Ah, see, you can bob it up and down. Now, what's really cool, if you jag it at certain angles, you just get the coolest. Oh, you can turn to black and night. If you get a rhythm sometimes, you can really... Yeah, it's a bit jerky, but... Oh, see that? Worth taking a picture for. Ah, beautiful. Oh, isn't that awesome? That kind of effect is only temporary, so take your pictures quick. That's why having a shortcut comes in handy. Oh, it's back to normal, see? But sometimes you can trick it. Black sun, there we go. And a control zero. There you go, see? Black sun, glory effect. Think of Soundgarden, Seattle, circa early 90s. Where's the sun? Where's the sun? Oh, so bright. My eyes. Kind of lonely here, being alone. But I'll make my own fun with lights. X-Wing. <laughs> What's also fun is if you have an object that's moving or rotating, if you focus your camera on it, you see, your camera will follow it. <laughs> Remember, Alt click, Alt zooming, also known as Alt control or Alt control shift. Those all work fine. I'll head out to the forest. In the forest, like a horror movie. You may want to set up your own lights. Yeah. Oh, let me turn off this beacon. Okay. So how I often do it, I have a pre-made object, but if you want to make one from scratch, you can easily make one with a sphere in your building. Light. I set these settings, radius of 20 meters and fall off to zero, for the broadest coverage. And I like striking light colors like that. Now it's like, well, I want an invisible light source. I want to, to light the scene. I don't want it to appear though, that's ugly. Well, you need a transparent texture. I should put up a kiosk where you can get one of these easily. But they are totally transparent, see? Haha. <laughs> and you're like, where the heck did that go? View, highlight transparent. See? Still got it. View, highlight transparent. Or control alt T. Shortcuts make the difference. Okay, now that you know what it is. See so you can light like that. Clone it, make another one. I did that with a uh, holding shift and dragging. On the arrows. There, it's got colors. Move it down. Oh, oh see. Control these elements for your environment. I'll do it again. I hold shift and I click on the arrowhead and I drag it. 
that's beyond the scope of this. But all of these good techniques, you put them all together and you become wonderful at taking snapshots. So you just want to capture something out here, right? Put all the techniques we learned. Just zoom in on yourself. Just get the angle. Even pan around a little bit, get the frame right. And remember, control, grab a song. Remember, lighting makes a lot of difference in the dark. And you can increase the effects of lighting. Go to preferences, and it would be your nighttime brightness. It should be in here. Is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. You set that down, you see? There's a greater contrast. Well, I can minimize too. Control P, shortcuts. Just very dramatic. There is one more trick I do want to tell you about. You may be wondering how I got my fog distance ratio to 10. Because normally, it only goes up to 4. Why does this make a difference? Because when you set it down, see how blurry it gets? It's just obscured. When you want a clear line of sight, you move it up. And 4 is good. But 10 is better. I'll be explaining that in the accompanying article. So I think you'll be reading down. i got to type that out now. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.